I'm Misty. And I'm Ike. For the next 15 minutes, we're going to debate pop culture. My background's in music. My background's in film. I know the topics beforehand. And I don't. We check the internet for the facts. And ruin it with opinions. From pop rocks in your lunchbox. To Happy Meal toys and swatch clocks. Good morning, (laughs) Misty. Good morning, Ike. Welcome to Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Episode... 58. 58. Oh my goodness, we're going to hit 60 this week. We are. Which wow. means that eventually we're going to hit 100. Yeah. It also means uh, my birthday's coming up. It does. Episode 62. I have something very special planned for that day. Is there going to be cake? Indeed. Excellent. And other things. Cake and other things. Yep. That's the name of the episode, <coughs> Cake and Other Things. That's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you want to do today? want to ruin some small part of the internet. <laughs> Great. Let's do it in 15 minutes starting now. Indeed. What's up today? Most expensive divorces in history. Wow. Okay. We're going to start out. I'll give you an example. Obviously, our Uncle Jeff. Yep. Uncle That's Jeff the only one I got. Uncle Jeff Bezos with a lazy eye. Yep. Uh, has as what t- is considered to be the most expensive divorce in history. Yep. And he's already made all that money back. It's a net worth of $137 billion at the time of his divorce. Really? Uh huh. Um, so basically, he got to keep 75% of his company's stock during that. Uh, her stake is estimated to be at worth more than $35 billion. At current prices, making her among the world's richest women. Wow, I um, I had the numbers all wrong. I thought he had two fifty, and she got a buck twenty five. Uh, I don't think so. I was way off. Not according to businessinsider.com. dot yeah. com. Man, she should have stuck it out because he's made another eighty billion during COVID. You know, that's not necessarily a reason to stick it out with somebody that makes you miserable. Also true. <laughs> also <laughs> Just a thought. true. Just a thought. But I tell you what, I could be a lot less miserable for an extra forty billion. I think that when you're talking even anything over a hundred million, you're probably fine. You're probably yeah. not miserable with your money your money situation. I could get my little farm in Hawaii for a hundred million. <laughs> I think you could. Yeah. Um I think that you could. Um so I have a I have a bit of a list that I've, you know, come up with. Okay. And some of these people you'll know and some you might not. But Bob Johnson, who was a giant television mogul, and his wife, Sheila, who also was very involved in television, were married from 1969 to 2002. Mm-hmm. That's a long damn time, right? 19, what? 1969? Yeah. They, um, during their time together, they founded a little network that you may have heard of called BET. Oh. <laughs> So, um, in 2000, they became the first African-American billionaires. Mm -hmm. And when they divorced two years later, she walked away with $400 million. Wow. And here's a little twist. Twist the knife in a bit. She married the judge that presided over their divorce. Okay. 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 You get it, Sheila. He ain't judging no more, is he? Right? I think I might be on your list. Are we going 10 to 1? I don't know. Are we? Top yeah. to make it. Top 10 most expensive divorces of all time from Top Business Insider. Mel Gibson and Robin Moore. Mm. Okay. 2006. Okay. Oh, man, I didn't even know Mel Gibson had this much money to give up. $425 million. Where do you think all that came from? Um, I think it came from all those 80s action movies. Absolutely. Because he definitely got some points on them things. Oh, yeah. Totally. It was half the actor's net worth at the time. So he had, in Eight, 2006, he had nine. $850 million. Yeah. The Rock, right now, only has like two or $300 million. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if he invested in some stuff with his movie money. Cool. I would think so, sure. You want to do number eight? Uh, well, I'm doing, I, I'm not, necess- I don't like reading straight down lists, um, so I'm going to pop in just some things that are happening. Okay. Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie. Ooh. Yeah. So together, they have earned $555 million. While um, they were married? Yes. Or all-time earnings? 
uh, while they've been together. That's a lot of money. As they, well as 117 million since before they got married. Collectively. Yes. Wow, to get like the two of them. Yeah. She brought a certain amount and he brought a certain amount. Yeah. Together that amount added up to 117 million. And then when they got married, the two of them amassed 555 more million dollars. What year did they get married? 2014, I believe. I would have thought Brad would be worth a whole lot more than 117 on his own before then. I thought so too. But and her. Well, you have to remember he also had a very messy divorce before that. Oh, hey Jen. Hey Jen. Hey What's girl. Up? Hey girl. Hey. Okay. Um, they got divorced in 2004. And they had a sixty million dollar settlement. Interesting. Uh, so where'd the other five hundred million go? That huh? they made together. They made five hundred. No, million I'm talking together. about Jennifer Aniston. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. So it's. I mean, their divorce is not final yet. Obviously, they're still. Uh, I think they split up in what 2016. Two years. They were married two years. Yeah. Then they got they popped back in together a minute ago. Uh, I don't think so. Not so much. Okay. Um, so they're still working out their divorce. So it's unclear how they're going to split those assets. And they also have a large amount of property. Um, mm, the Malibu estates. Well, they own an entire winery in France, like a chateau in France. Yeah. They've got houses all over the place. I mean, she's one thing I will say for Angelina Jolie. She's a woman of the world. She's a global citizen. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be an interesting one when that happens. Yeah. To see how that all shakes out. Yeah, I've got one that's kind of near and dear to my heart. Hit me, uh, Mr. Steve Wynn. Oh, Mr. Steve Wynn. Boy. Welcome us to your hotel, sir. Oh boy, he's welcomed us quite often. It's yes. our hotel of choice in Las Vegas, the Wynn and Encore. It is. Yep. Uh, one of our favorite steakhouses is named. Uh, it ha- carries his namesake, the SW. Ooh. Uh, um, in my mouth with my water. But after his alleged behavior, I can understand why Elaine Oof. would want to get out. Right. Uh, and she collected a cool billion dollars for it. Only a bill. Yeah. I mean, he's one of the most successful casino you know, owners in the world, I would think. There are wins all over the place. Here's something super interesting that I'm reading right now on the internet live. Tell me. They were married not once, but twice. Oh, man. To each other. Right. Yeah. From 63 to 86. Which is a significant amount of time. Yeah. And then 91 to 2010. So 96 is when they got divorced the first time. And then they got back together in 2000, what? 91. 91. 63 to 86 and 91 to 2010. So they weren't even apart that long. Yeah. Oh, so then he must have gotten remarried after her because his newest thing just happened two years ago. Oh, my goodness. He's not currently running the uh, facility. Right. Indeed. Because he was diddling on them waitresses. He was not being appropriate with the Allegedly. female staff members. Um, Who we appreciate because they take very good care of us when we and stay. And she at only America. got a million do- or a billion dollars. She got a billion the second it's time. Really, so uh, let's talk about this for a minute because yeah. this is kind of what interested me about the subject. Mm-hmm. When I started reading it, I was like, only a billion dollars. Yep. Isn't it weird how our idea of money has changed? Yes. And like when, when at the time, it was thought to be one of the most expensive divorces of all time. Right. In 2010. Right. Yeah. Like, I, I think back to like, you know, when we were kids and you were like, a million dollars. And a yeah. million dollars seemed like something that was so ridiculously unattainable. Yes. And now we're like... That's a mill. Yeah. Now that we got Patreon. <laughs> we're like, a million what? That was yesterday. We don't. Please subscribe to our Patreon. Please. Because we don't please. have a single Patreon subscriber. Who wants. Oh. Uh, well, by the time this. We will pay you one billion dollars well, to where, be our first Patreon Where is my hairless cat? One billion. Uh, so um, by the time this comes out. We could have multiple patrons. Pa- patrons. We could. It's, it's, that would be amazing if we did. Yes. Tens of them. Right. Anyways. Please. <laughs> Sorry. I just, I find it really interesting, our perception of money. Like when we look at someone like Steve Wynn now and we go, you're the, you know, the owner of a chain of the 
biggest casinos in the world. There are wins in um, other countries. Boston, there. yeah. And, and we think, oh, his wife only got $1 billion because we assume that he should be worth way more than that. Well, to be fair, okay. this article also states at the bottom, uh, their second divorce is one of the most expensive of all time. Although, details have been kept under wraps, the settlement is estimated at $1 billion. Okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Can you imagine looking at your checking account? No, I can't. I want to and then, very badly. And then cutting it in half? No, I don't want to do that part. Okay. But not just your checking account, but like all, all of your yeah. your when you have when you have total. a billion, yeah. It's not that you go to the ATM and take out twenty bucks and it says you have what? what <laughs> a billion nine hundred and ninety nine <laughs> million nine hundred and ninety nine thousand whatever. Right. Like right, it's right. all stock and like not necessarily liquid net worth. Yeah. Definitely. Like I said, property is yeah. involved, things like that. What, how much would you carry? If you're smart. Yeah. What would you carry in your walking around checking debit card fund if you had a billion dollars in the bank? Probably a million. I'd go, I one think, million. I think I'd go 20 million. See, I'm also like, I'm, I don't want to say I'm like Ebenezer Scrooge because I'm not, <laughs> but <laughs> hey, now, um, I'm, I'm very cautious with my money because I grew up without not not having a lot of it. Yeah. And so I like to try to think that I've retained like stayed grounded in that fact and like I still understand the value of what twenty dollars represents. Like I don't as nice as I think it would be to be that person that had enough money that they didn't know what a gallon of milk cost. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want to not know what a gallon of milk cost. Right. I, I like I always want to be able to walk into target and be like, that milk's really expensive. I'm not going to get that it's stupid. Like, why would I pay that for it? Yeah. But I'm going to get this other milk, you okay. know? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I I'm the exact opposite. Yeah. 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 I would want enough floating in the checking account that in interest it made back whatever i felt like spending right. that day right if i want to go below like four thousand bucks yeah i made four thousand bucks in interest today see i feel like i would do that in an in investment manner instead <clears throat> i feel okay. like i would i would be happy enough with the money that it was gaining throughout my investments and you know like iras and blah blah blah, blah all yeah. of that crap that yeah, I think I would, like, like I said, I think it'd be like a million and I'd be like, hey, financial guy, <clears throat> anytime that this dips below this mill, you know, fill it back up. Yeah, dip my mill, financial guy. <laughs> dip my guy. mill back up. That's a new shirt. <laughs> dip my mills, bruh. Yeah, but um, like I said, I don't ever want to be that person that doesn't know what something simple in the grocery store costs. When um, when the show becomes insanely successful and we're just raking in piles of cash. Yeah. And you meet the love of your lifetime. Yeah. Are you going to make him or her sign a prenuptial agreement if you decide that you want to uh, in, enjoy matrimony? You know, I'm not going to lie. I think that it would depend upon what their financial status was. Interesting. I think that if, you know, you and I had a very interesting conversation this morning about the person that you end up with and wanting them to bring a certain thing to the table. Right. And, and in your case, it's tables of cash. <laughs> now, I think I would want someone. I mean, it, it wouldn't be any different then than I am now. I think right now what I want is someone who brings their own stability into sure. a relationship to be a partner and not someone that's going to rely on you. So it, if I did, by chance, fall in love with someone that was a waiter and lived off tips... um. I think my prenup would maybe look a little different. It wouldn't be like, you're not getting shit if we break up. It'd right. be like, this is the amount of money I'm willing to give you if we break up. Right. Well, it and, and even the best prenup in the world only protects what you made before you got married. Yeah, absolutely. So they're entitled to half yeah, of whatever you I think you mine would be like, if we break up, you're going to get $150,000. Is that worth it to you to like be, end up being married to me? Because I'm an asshole, let's be honest. <laughs> I definitely need to think about making that number a little higher. No, I, I want to keep it low for that exact point. Oh, fuck you. Gotcha. I see what you did there. <laughs> um, no, I, I definitely like, I, I feel like if I meet an equal, right. there isn't a need for a prenup because we both stand on equal ground. Yeah. And 
I like to think that I'm not enough of an asshole that I'm going to get vindictive if we break up and be like, I just take all your money. <laughs> yeah. It's just stupid. Yeah, uh, what if the shoe's on the other foot? Money. Yeah. If you have your own money, but let's say the guy has a couple more bucks than you sure. and he asked you to sign a prenup, would you be offended? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think I would be either. You know what? I, I built what I have now at the lower level of whatever on my own. Yeah. I'm not scared to do that again or do it on my own. Like, I've done that my whole life. Like, That's right. If you've got a couple more bucks and you need that sense of security of me being like, yeah, I'll sign this. Okay. Yeah. If you're trying to slide in our DMs, y'all are getting a prenup. What's up? <laughs> y'all getting a prenup and, like, bring some to the table, motherfuckers. That's right. A very, very expensive table. Bring me an expensive table. I cannot hit my mouth with my water bottle today. It's all like. It's been a day. We got a yeah. case of the Wednesdays. We got a case of the Wednesdays. We didn't talk about too many divorces, but, we didn't, but the slaps um, are coming right meow. Okay, well, let me. Uh, we're going to throw <laughs> one last one in Tiger Woods. Oh, that's a good one. We're in bonus time, Tiger Woods. Catch that's- us on the Patreon and listen to us talk about Tiger Woods. Hundred and ten million dollars. Oof. Oof. And you know what? Hundred and ten million dollars, in my opinion, not enough. Ooh. Okay, why not? Do you not remember that? He divorce? was sick, Misty. He had a disease. A sexual disease. Okay. Or he was just a dude with a lot of money, like to bang around. I don't know. Cool, then don't get married. Exactly. Keep banging around. Did they get married before he was super famous? No, No. he was super famous when he was like 10. When they got married. Like, if that's the life you want to live, then live that life. Or have it with someone who's willing to be in an open relationship. Bingo. Like, one of my favorite, like, pop culture history moments is her beating in his car with a golf club. Mm. It's fucking priceless. I'm glad it was photographed. I hope it was one of his favorite Tiger Woods. It was like a Bentley, and she was. it was one of his golf clubs, and she literally is smashing the windshield out of it. And I do not blame that woman. And she deserved a lot more than $110 million. (laughs) Well, depending on how much he had. I bet Nike probably wrote him a check right after that. I'm sure they did, which is why, like I said, I think she deserved more. Anyways. Well, that's our uh, episode on divorce. That's our episode on the most expensive divorces. Oh, speaking of which, let's give Miami Pete a shout out. <gasps> Full circle. Yeah, and we'll put this at the beginning of the episode. Absolutely. Guys, today's episode is on divorce. Uh, if you're currently going through it, check out our buddy Pete My Street's um, podcast, Divorce the First Six Months. Uh, Misty was a guest on the show. If you don't know this about her, she dumped some dude like 40 years ago. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Took all his money. We didn't have any money. He took both of his Pearl Jam CDs. I don't I know. I did take both of his Pearl Jam CDs. Uh, but please Indeed. check out his podcast. Follow him on uh, Instagram and Facebook. He's a great dude. And he's going on this podcast journey with us. He's loosely associated with BMG. So um, we look forward to hearing your thoughts. Tell us what you think about Pete's um, podcast. And tell us what you think about divorce in the comments. I-B-R-C. And please, please join our Patreon. We're poor as shit. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. And until the next apocalypse, we'll we'll see see you tomorrow. tomorrow.